Windows 11 updates and security. One of the things that you definitely want to do is you want to make sure that you are constantly getting Windows updates. Now, I've been in the industry for over 30 years, and I work with IT people every single day. And a lot of people are not the biggest fans of Windows updates because Microsoft at times will send out updates for things that, for example, maybe they don't want to update. A perfect example, just to kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. Years ago, Microsoft used to, every time they would put out a new version of Internet Explorer before they went to Edge, they would include the new version of IE with their updates. A lot of the versions of IE completely changed around your internet browsing environment. So there are times where people don't want updates to automatically just happen. They want to be able to pick and choose which updates they're going to put on this box. But here's something that's really, really important. You got to make sure you're doing updates though. Because one of the things that Microsoft does is they have what they call a red team. And the Microsoft red team is a team of hackers, security experts. And their entire job is to literally try to break into Windows 11 or Azure or whatever product they're working on. They're trying to find the back doors, okay? the areas that just weren't locked down properly. When they find these areas, one of the things that they do is they release updates and they release security patches. And there, a lot of these are done because they know there's a vulnerability that is built into the system. And they want that vulnerability locked down. So, this is something that you definitely want to make sure that you are doing for your users. Now, you might not want your users all going out to Microsoft and grabbing the same updates. So a lot of us will install what we call an update server, okay, WSUS. It is a service that you can put on a server and it allows that server to go out and grab your updates then you can pick and choose which updates you want to approve and send out to your users. This way, if I have 500 people, most updates are done on Tuesdays. Okay, that's why they call it Patch Tuesday. I have 500 people. Do I want all 500 people going out over my internet connection and grabbing the exact same updates? Probably not. So, by having one server go out and get the updates and then everybody connects to a local server, you can approve the updates before they get put out to everybody, but at least they're getting all of their patches. You got to make sure that you have some way so that your users can stay up to date. Windows 11 is a new operating system. It's only been out since October of 2021. There's going to be a lot of vulnerabilities that they find. The updates are always out there closing these vulnerabilities down. So you got to make sure that you teach your users if they're not if you don't have a, an update server in house that they got to go out and they got to do their updates. Now the easiest way obviously if you've I'll take you right from the beginning if you just go out to your settings obviously right under Windows update and at that point it'll show you now you can see that I have an update that needs to be installed. It's for Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. And it's just pending the install. So it's already been downloaded. It just needs to be installed. So I'll go ahead and install this. And at that point, I should be current. Because up until this one came up today, I was current. And But you want to make sure your users are current on their updates. This is very important because a lot of these updates are going to actually 
protect your users. Another thing that you want to also consider using when it comes to Windows 11 is the security features. Now, Windows 11 gives you the ability to set up a lot of different security features, including even for ransomware. So, let's go just to the actual live system, and I'll show you that. If you go under Privacy and Security, and you have your Windows Security here, and I click on that, you'll see that there's all kinds of different options that you have. Your firewall, account protection. But if I click on virus and threat protection, and you can see that this box was last scanned on 12.10 at 1.18 p.m. All right? So, and there were no threats found. But if I scroll my way down, you can manage your security settings. And then right here, ransomware. Now, when, it, when you talk about Windows 11, there are two ways to set up ransomware. One, Microsoft recommends that you use OneDrive. And the reason why they recommend that you use OneDrive is because if you back up all of your important files and the box actually gets taken over ransomware, you can obviously go out and grab your important files that are out on OneDrive. There's a second component that you can do where it says manage ransomware protection. This allows you to set up what they call controlled folder access. And this is also available on your server. Controlled folder access, when you turn this on, you can go in and actually state which applications can access which folders. Remember, malware, viruses, worms, Trojan horses, these are applications that are running. If I can go in and actually set it up so that only applications that I approve can access certain folders and files, then if someone puts an application on here such as ransomware, it's not going to allow it to access that folder. So this is a second way that you can protect against ransomware by turning on controlled folder access. Finally, the last piece is when we're talking about security and privacy and some of the settings is you want to make sure you activate the box. With Windows 10, Windows 11, believe it or not, if you don't activate your system, you're not going to be able to actually configure a lot of your settings. They'll be completely grayed out. Until the box is activated, there will be a lot of stuff you won't be able to do. So make sure that you activate your systems as soon as they're installed so that your users and even you can actually make changes to these devices.